Hello humans, and welcome to Wolfie's World. Today we look at some truly amazing animals that have received prestigious honors, and how they got them. So sit back, get comfortable and, let's get started. One of the highest honors an animal can receive for valor is the Dickens Medal. The People's Dispensary for Sick Animals PDSA, charity only awards the medal to animals who display outstanding bravery during combat. The first American dog to win the British prize was Luca, a canine serving with the U.S. Marine Corps. Luca participated in more than 400 patrols throughout her six years of active duty in Afghanistan. Improvised explosive devices were the plague of those serving in the country, Luca sniffing them out undoubtedly saved many lives. The last device she discovered weighed more than 30 kilograms and was extremely destructive. Luca had burns and other wounds when another one exploded shortly after the first one. Sadly, she had to have her front leg amputated. She was transported to London to receive the Dickens Medal after she had recovered. A Purple Heart, a medal given to U.S. military personnel hurt in battle, was also given to Luca when she received one in an unofficial ceremony from a Marine who had previously earned the Purple Heart twice. In general, Rats are hardly the most respected of animals. But the award for life-saving valor and devotion to duty was given to a rat. Magawa, a huge pouch rat, is responsible for the dangerous task of detecting landmines in Cambodia. Magawa has assisted in removing explosive devices from an area the size of 20 football fields since he can detect them but is too light to detonate them. Millions of landmines litter the country of Cambodia, and their explosions have claimed thousands of lives. Even with the best equipment, finding them is a lengthy and dangerous process. Magawa detects so many landmines that he can keep his human handlers busy all day long for just working half an hour each morning in exchange for a small treat. Dogs have long been considered man's best friend, and it would appear that they are on the battlefield too. Even at the risk of their own lives, dogs have frequently defended their owners. Like Kuno the dog who charged at an Al-Qaeda shooter when the elite Royal Navy Special Boat Service oversaw an assault on a rebel compound. Machine gun fire held the soldiers back, making it impossible for them to advance. One of the gunmen was tackled by Kuno, who then let his humans take the shot. Despite having both of his back legs shot, Kuno was saved and sent to safety. Due to the need to amputate a section of one leg, Kuno became the first dog in the British forces to wear a specially designed prosthetic leg. He is now retired and may be seen running around. According to the British Defence Secretary, Kuno clearly saved the lives of British servicemen that day. Without him, the outcome of this operation could have been quite different. The first American animal to receive the Dickens Award was a pigeon named G.I. Joe. Allied forces invaded Italy so quickly during the Second World War that they found themselves well in advance of where they were expected. Because no one expected them to be there, they ran the risk of being attacked by their own planes when they took over a town that had been controlled by the Germans. The soldiers turned to Pigeon USA 43 SC 6390 also known as G.I. Joe, as their final resort after their radio failed to communicate with the airbase where the jets were due to take off. Over 100 lives were saved when the bombing was aborted because he reached the base in time. This bird is credited with making the most outstanding flight by a USA Army pigeon in World War II. It brought a message which arrived just in time to save the lives of the Allied soldiers from being bombed by their own planes. After the war, Joe enjoyed a pleasant and lengthy retirement. Alexander the Great did nothing half-heartedly. Likewise, he honored his horse in a manner that was commensurately grand. From an early age, Alexander was accompanied by his horse, Bucephalus. The horse was initially offered to Alexander's father, but it turned out to be unruly and unrideable. Only a young Alexander had the guts to subdue him. Alexander's father remarked, O oh my son, look thee forth a kingdom suitable to and worthy of thyself, for Macedonia is too little for thee.
upon seeing Alexander riding the horse. That's exactly what he did. Bucephalus accompanied Alexander on all of his campaigns. When Bucephalus passed away, Alexander not only requested a grand funeral for his longtime companion, but also that a city be named in his honor. At the very limit of Alexander's empire, east of the Indus River, Alexandria Bucephalus was constructed. Only once has an animal received an official rank from the U.S. Marine Corps. Reckless, a pack horse during the Korean War, advanced through the ranks to become a sergeant. Unusually intelligent and fast to learn. She learned to sprint for the bunker whenever her fellow soldiers shouted, Incoming. She learned how to avoid barbed wire and lay down to avoid being shot at. However, it was her fearlessness in action that earned her the distinction of soldier. Reckless made 51 journeys back and forth while being fired upon to provide ammo to her marines and bring the wounded from the front line. Reckless sustained two wounds from shrapnel while on her travels. She served throughout the war, displaying a fearlessness uncommon for horses. Surely an angel must have been riding her, one of her soldiers remarked. Reckless retired with two Purple Hearts, four Korean service medals, two Navy Presidential Unit Citations, a Navy Unit Commendation, and a Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal. It was easy for communications to get lost and never reach their intended recipient during the First World War. Telegraph cables could be severed, radio was still a relatively new technology, and roads were frequently damaged by large holes. None of the runners Major Charles White Whittlesey and his 550 soldiers dispatched to request assistance made it through when they became pinned down. Because friendly units were unaware that they were nearby, their own side soon started shelling them. Whittlesey turned to his carrier pigeons. The first two that got dispatched were killed. With only 194 men left alive all their hopes were placed on the message given to share army. We are along the road parallel to 276.4. Our own artillery is dropping a barrage directly on us. For heaven's sake stop it. A share army was shot in the breast by the Germans, all hope was lost. Despite falling to the ground, share army managed to get up and carry the message in flight. The soldiers were saved after the message was seen. Share army was left blinded in one eye and a leg that was barely supported by a tendon. Share army received the best medical attention the army could provide, saving her life. She received the Croix de Guerre one of France's highest honors, and was then sent back to the United States. Well, what can I say? Animals are truly amazing. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and check out more on screen now. Until next time friends. Bye.